hey pisces what's happening hope you guys are all doing well this is your general tower reading for pisces sun moon rising venus we're going into june 2022 if this reading resonates for you pisces i do encourage you to like share comment and subscribe hit the notification bell Pisces, your bonus extended for June 2022 is up on Vimeo. How does your person feel? I have tarot and oracle cards. I pull from the unspoken love messages. The link is in the description box. If you want a personal tarot reading, all the details are in the description box. You can go to my website or Etsy. I do offer them video recorder or through Etsy message. So let's jump right in. Let's see what messages pop out for you guys. Pisces, what's going on? For my lovely Pisces out there. All right, Pisces, the biggest challenge you're facing with right, right now is the three of wands, okay? You're moving on, okay? You are waiting for your ships to come in. Maybe something new. Something may have ended in your life. Maybe you're moving away from someone in particular. That could be the challenge to move on and not look back. Some of you guys are at a place where you want more for yourself. You want, you want more. More love, more respect, more loyalty, right? There's something you're moving away from. I feel like you've outgrown something here. Something may have been very difficult and challenging and you just want something new. So it could be um, a fire sign in your love life, right? We have Leo, Sagittarius energy. In the recent past, we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Hermit and the Fool. Yeah, new beginnings for sure. Now, some of you guys, I'm seeing a new beginning underway after maybe expecting um, a relationship or some kind of partnership to come through for you because it looks like your focus was on a particular partnership. You are expecting a lot from it. You expected some form of stability here. And I feel like there's something here that may have not worked out because you may have went into hermit. Some of you guys, you distance yourself from someone because you realize that maybe what you wanted, what they wanted, two different things. I'm seeing a new direction for someone. So Pisces, you could have maybe recently decided to put yourself out there for something new. Maybe you left a situation behind. I feel the hermit is really about doing a lot of deep thinking. Now, some of you guys are still with someone, but you're thinking about moving forward whatever direction that is. And this could be your person as well. In the past, it also seems, again, there's something about overthinking, right? Needing answers, going within, looking for um, inner wisdom, guidance, okay? So let's see what the current energy is. You could be dealing with a Virgo or an Aries. Pisces, we got the tower coming out in your reading. This is the current energy. Now, some of you guys, you could have gone through a tower moment with someone or something, something here that's been very uncomfortable, very difficult, challenging, right? It's tested you. Um, but the tower could also be avoiding a situation that you feel could be very detrimental. The moon and the five of pentacles. And for some of you guys, you may have left someone, physically separated from someone because there's been a lot of unknowns, a lot of things that may have been hidden from you, secrets, deception. Okay, and there's something here that maybe um, there could be an energy of fear, insecurities, not knowing what you don't know. This could be a Pisces Scorpio. You're dealing with strong Scorpio energy. Pisces, I feel like there's someone here in your life that has been maybe afraid to tell you something and they may be living in fear. I even feel like this is someone that may have been wanting to come towards you, wanting for a new beginning. And they feel left out. They feel shut out. They feel abandoned. They feel like you don't want anything to deal do with them because of a tower moment that they may have created. And I'm seeing the moon as someone being very unsure of themselves and fearing, okay? There's some kind of fear regarding coming towards you or maybe even repressing their emotions and feelings, not wanting to tell you how they feel. On your mind, Pisces, the Three of Cups and the Six of Swords. A lot of you are having a really difficult time moving away from something. Some of you guys, you may be challenging yourself to meet new people, go out there and date. Maybe you're online dating and it feels like it's been difficult. Some of you guys, you're allowing yourself to be held back by your past. There's some kind of past hurt, past challenge, conflict, maybe um, in a love connection that is holding you back, that's making you feel reluctant to put yourself out there and meet new people. You're not very confident right now. Three of Cups, it's just not fun for you. It's difficult for you. So Pisces, that could be, again, the challenge moving on, moving away from something that has not worked for you. The Ace of Wands wanted to come out. Someone may be wanting a new beginning, maybe a fire sign here. Ace of Cups. Someone missed an opportunity with you. That's what it looks like to me. Someone someone has definitely missed out on something here that they knew that 
this love was real that's what i'm hearing this love was so real because the ace of cups is here now you could be getting a message there is an opportunity being presented here page of pentacles it could be someone reaching out to send you a text it could be a phone call there's some form of stability tied to this page of pentacles so someone could be offering a means on how to rebuild to repair to restore something here what's for certain is that this person nine of wands has not given up they're still willing to persevere. They're still dedicated to this, okay? They're very diligent. They're still willing to put in their, their effort, okay? Their energy. Because with the Ten of Swords in reverse, someone wants to overcome a really difficult ending when maybe they betrayed you or blindsided you. And I feel like there's something here that it's like, you don't know what happened, Pisces. You know, they're saying to themselves, you don't know what really happened. So I'm getting the energy of the Ten of Swords as they want to move past a really difficult ending. Maybe you view them a certain way because they're feeling left out in the cold and they want to come back in. And they may want to clear up something. Three of Swords is here. Someone is hurting. A lot of heartbreak and pain. What is the outcome for Pisces? The justice. Someone here wants to make things right. They want to balance out the scales, right? They want to do right onto you. If they were, um, you know, if they wronged you, if they hurt you, things are one-sided. They're now wanting to turn the tables and make things more balanced. We have a lot of communication coming in. Eight of Wands and a Five of Cups in reverse. So this definitely looks like there's someone who wants to reach out to communicate, to open up the lines of communication and move forward with something here. There's a lot of regrets, remorse, disappointment about the past, something that may have been holding them back. But I feel like in the outcome, there's finally someone's going to reach out because their goal is to make things right, to do the right thing, to right their wrongs with you, to bring balance, to restore harmony, to restore peace, to reciprocate. So definitely someone here is um, wanting to make things better. All right, after a really, really difficult, devastating ending, Ten of Swords. I mean, yeah, the tower, sure. So, <laughs> yeah, there, there's a lot of work here. Um, Let's take a look. The good thing is that we have this tower and the Ten of Swords in birth. So whatever you've gone through, the worst is over, right? All right, Pisces, let's take a look. If this reading resonates, if it hits home, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Your bonus extended is up on Vimeo. Why is it three of wands here? Why is it three of wands here, please? Yeah, success, six of wands. Someone here wants a victory, right? Someone may be feeling like I'm ready to move forward right now. And that could be the energy as well. Someone is now ready to move forward. They want their ships to come in with you. And there could be an energy of I want to be victorious. They're not willing to move forward because I want to win you over. I want to achieve, right? I want to be successful. In a recent past, why is the hermit and a fool? What's going on? King of Pentacles, we got the Ace of Wands in a verse and the Knight of Swords in verse. Someone here definitely lied. I'm seeing an offer being extended or someone promising the world to you, right? It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone promised the world to you that they'd always be there, that they would meet your needs, that would surpass your needs. And I feel like that was all a big, big, fat lie. Okay, this is someone that may be very drama filled. They may have lied and, and been dishonest or cut you off. They could have been very argumentative. And ultimately, something here just did not move forward. Ace of Wands in verse, right? There was no movement. There was no growth. There was no expansion in this connection. I feel a lot of you, you know, you didn't know what the heck you were going through with this person. You didn't know why they were acting this way. There was a lot of drama here. And again, I'm getting a hermit. So you may have decided to disconnect from them and go on, move forward in your life. Some of you guys, someone had a new beginning. Someone decided to move in a different direction. I feel like there was a reckless decision that was made to move in a different direction. Yeah, two wands. Someone had another option here in the past. Someone had another person they were dealing with and they were very indecisive. I even feel like they left that person and they left you and they may have came back perhaps. That could have happened. Ace of Wands in verse. Give me the energy of the moon. The current energy is the moon. There's some fears and things that are hidden. Ooh, King of Swords. Someone here wants to explain something. Didn't I say that? Someone here really wants to like clarify some things like you don't know everything pisces that's why i keep hearing you don't know everything because the nine of cups is a wish is a desire there's a dream here regarding maybe an air sign gemini libra aquarius something has been hidden and i feel like that's what the moon is about some fears regarding you finding out something but the tower could be really shaking things up at the core and something could be revealed in that tower moment I'm also seeing a lot of, um, I'm getting the Nine of Cups was in reverse, right? There was a lot of dissatisfaction here regarding a situation. Someone is really unhappy because they're feeling left out in the cold. They feel like they are blocked by you or they feel like you don't want anything to deal with them. Yeah, Ten of Cups, they want happiness with you. And we have Six of Pentacles in reverse. I think this person is realizing that 
if they seek happiness with you, the Ten of Cups, they're going to have to do some things. They're going to have to change their ways, right? They're going to have to give in a more reciprocated um, form or fashion. This is the energy of someone that may have not been generous with their energy, their time, their money, hell, right? Um, very stingy. And I feel like in the, in the end, they may have lost you because there's a missed opportunity here. So I feel like this person is going to learn how to reciprocate, right? Balance things out. We have the justice card and the outcome. So they're going to learn. They're going to learn, Pisces. And I think part of this experience, this breakup, could be teaching your person to change their ways, the tower. They got to have to change. So your energy, Pisces, six of swords, three of cups. Queen of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. There could be something about you guys focusing right now on money, focusing on your uh, commitments. It could be a fire sign in particular that you're dealing with. Some of you guys, you know your worth. You're being seen in that Queen of Wands energy. You could be in the energy of just being very confident, you know, moving towards something that you're passionate about, doing what's best for you. And it may not be necessarily what's best for this partnership, but it's best for you because your focus could be, um, your, your focus now could be on you, your stability, your money. Um, Six of Swords, there's definitely something about the past that's still holding you back. Page of Pentacles. I think that a lot of you guys, you will have an opportunity to um, reach out to this person or they're going to reach out to you first. And then you could be interacting with this person back and forth and getting text, email, phone call. Give me the Ace of Cups. There's a missed opportunity here. Why? King of the Ocean. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And the world, there's definitely some kind of karma, some kind of big lesson here that unfortunately, you know, the ending of this relationship, I feel like there was a lesson that you had to learn about how to love, about your, your love for yourself, self-love, okay? I'm seeing a lot of, uh, that's your energy, Pisces, okay? The King of Cups. So I think this separation has taught you a lot about how to love yourself better and not rely on others to love you. So give me the energy, Page of Pentacles. They're going to reach out to you, somebody, the high priest, um, that's the high priestess, and we have the ten of wands. This person is definitely going to reach out because they're feeling responsible in some way for the connection. They're responsible for why things didn't go the way it should have gone. This is someone that is wanting to, um, I'm getting they have some inner knowledge. They've gone within wisdom and they now know what they want. There could be something they're now having to face with you or they know they have to face. The nine of wands, the ten of wands, it's like a sense of responsibility. I have to do this. So this could be someone that wants you to hear them out because now they got inner knowledge, wisdom, insight onto a situation, okay? This could be a Virgo. Ten of swords in reverse. We have the page of cups. Someone is really struggling on how to apologize to you. They're very anxious. Nine of swords came with it. A lot of anxiety, a lot of frustrations and fears regarding offering you their cup, um, about apologizing, asking for forgiveness. I feel like this person is so afraid how you're going to respond. Pisces, this person's afraid that you're not going to accept their apology if they um, extend one to you. So that could be something here that, you know, it could be a delay in this person coming to you with an, an offer, okay, of some sort. Now, the Justice card, they do want to make things right, fair, balanced. We have the Ten of Swords in verse. They're trying to um, make up for what they didn't do. Or, again, make up for the damage they've done, right? The Ten of Swords, something hit hard. Something has fallen apart and crumbled. And now they're wanting to move past it by justice, restoring harmony, peace, balance, um, compromising in some way, meeting you halfway. There could be a lot of communication coming through. Eight of Wands, what's this about? Communication with you, King of Cups and the Three of Pentacles in verse. Could be a lot of communication coming to you, Pisces, regarding um, recognizing that something here was not working because of them, right? Three of Pentacles in verse, recognizing that, yeah, there's a reason that, um, there's a reason why this is falling apart and perhaps I am at fault for it, right? There's a lot of regrets, a lot of disappointment, Five of Cups, someone is very sad about how things played out. And they're not a crossroads, even trying to make a big decision regarding you. It could require them cutting out something from the past, cutting out a person. And also some of you guys, they may be wanting to make things right and say, hey, can you allow me to, I'm getting, will you release the past? Will you allow me to come back in and do the right thing? And would you release the past? Will you not hold it against me? To a sword, they may be wanting you to let it go, right? Because it doesn't serve them anymore. It doesn't serve you anymore. Ten of swords, two of swords. They want you to let go of the past. They don't want you to hold it against them anymore. That's why the justice card is 
is here in the outcome. I want to I want things to be fair and balanced. I want us to start off on a clean slate, you know? So that is what I'm seeing, Pisces. If this is your reading, like, share, comment, subscribe. Your bonus extended is up on Vimeo. Check it out if you're interested. And I hope you all have a great Memorial Day weekend. All right, take care. Bye.